Hey guys, Fusion Science here, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to use textures in Photoshop. Now, I know some of you out there may think this is rather stupid tutorial as it's a really simple thing to do, but there are beginners out there which I'm basing this video on, and also there may be a few of you out there who have been using Photoshop for a while but just haven't come across this for some strange reason. So, for those of you who don't know how to do this, I'll be showing you how to do it today. So um, basically what I'll be doing is just showing you how textures work and just along the lines of that. So I'm just going to open a canvas and then I'm going to go to gradient and select radial gradient. It's the second option here. Then I'm going to put pick a foreground and background color. I'm going to select red and black and then I'm just going to go into the center of my image, click, hold and drag out to one of the corners and let go. As you can see, this gives it a really cool effect. Um, I loved using this when I was starting off with Photoshop. It's a really cool effect and it's a really simple thing to do. Um, but it's just lacking a bit and you need a little bit of oomph in it, you know what I mean? So to add a bit of character to it, just uh, go file and open and open a texture. Now if you don't know where to find um, uh, textures that will work in Photoshop, um, there will be a link uh, in the description and an annotation on screen now to one of my videos which is a GFX pack which is a free download and uh, it gives you um, over a hundred fonts, over a hundred renders and uh, roughly 80 textures so that pack will be perfect if you want to get started. Uh, so here it is now as you can see I have Apple wallpapers, fonts, screenshots, textures and YouTube templates. So let's go into the textures. Now I've loads here, as I said, roughly 70 I think, but I'm just going to select this one here, number 2. And then just um, s select the move tool, click on it at the top, drag down and pull on to the other image that you've made recently. Um, that's how I bring images onto other images in Photoshop. If you do know a quicker way, uh, maybe using the keyboard or something like that, please drop a comment below because I'd love to find out, it would make things a lot easier. That's how I do it anyways and then select the um, texture and click Control and T and I'll just allow you resize it so it will fit the image correctly. Uh, you don't need to take this step if it fits um, quite well. So scale it down, pull it up, scale it down, pull it up and that's pretty good itself so just click it doesn't have to be exact just click enter and it will um, deselect it and save it as that size now uh, make sure it's above your background and have it selected go here to normal and just click this little down arrow and this will come out and then the most common ones are overlay and soft light but go through them all because you'll always be surprised what you'll find. Some of them might look stupid and then you'll just go back to overlay but then that next one might just make it look magical. So I'm going to show you soft light first. As you can see it's a bit orange and it looks really nice. Um, kind of a dark grunge kind of feel to it. And we'll just go up to overlay. It's a um, bit more red but the same kind of style. And just go through them. Some of them might not have any effect on the texture. Some of them may may look really stupid but then you might find one like this one this is what I'm talking about does not look beast lads I mean imagine that on your YouTube background that just looks beast like and just always go through them this is color dodge I like to use this um, a good few times um, it's a really good one S sometimes it doesn't do shit and sometimes it makes masterpieces like this one you are seeing here so yeah I think this looks really nice so um basically that's it for today. Um, you can use this in many different ways. You can put it on text. Uh, you can just, you can really use it for anything. Um, it's great on backgrounds, logos, YouTube backgrounds, everything really. I can't. The the list goes on. But um, yeah. So that's how you do it, guys. Just for the beginners, as I said again. Um, don't be hating if you already know how to do this. This is just for those of you. Um, who are starting off and didn't know how to use this. Um, I found it really helpful when I was starting off in graphic design on Photoshop. So yeah, uh, please like, it would be uh, highly appreciated. And subscribers, get cookies! 
not. Okay, guys, see ya.